Lesson 20, The Calling of the Apostles John 8, 31 Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. Matthew 10, 1-2 And when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and, a, and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. 2. Now the names of the twelve apostles are these. The first, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew his brother, James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother. Matthew 10, 3-4 Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas, and and Matthew the publican, James the son of Alphaeus and Labaeus, whose surname was Thaddeus, for Simon the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him. Matthew 10, 5-6 These twelve Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not. 6 But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Matthew 10, 7-8 And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. 8. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. Matthew 10, 9-10 Provide neither gold, nor silver, nor brass in your purses. 10. Nor script for your journey, neither true coats, neither shoes, nor yet staves, for the workman is worthy of his meat. Matthew 10, 11, And into whatsoever city or town ye shall enter, inquire who in it is worthy, and there abide till ye go thence. Matthew 10, verse 12, And when ye come into an house, salute it. Matthew 10, 13 to 14, And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. 14. And whosoever shall not receive you nor hear your words, um, when ye depart of that city or house, uh, when ye depart of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. Matthew 10, 15-16. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of the judgment than for that city. 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. In this lesson, I learned that a disciple, a disciple of Jesus is one who reads his word and does it in his life. Thank you and God bless us all.